So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab monitor and manage cloud resources challenge lab so first of all open incognito window now you have to sign in using the username mentioned on the lab instruction and enter the password here now click on i understand now this lab many users are facing issue so make sure to follow the video completely so that you will get 100 out of 100 in this lab so first of all now click on i agree agree and continue now activate the cloud shell click on continue Click on authorize. Now head over to the GitHub repo. I've shared the link in the description to check it out. Now enter. Now you have to enter the bucket name from the lab instruction. As you can see, here is the bucket name and here is the region. So first bucket, then topic name, then the function name. Now time for region. In my case, it's your central one. It might be different for you. So now we have second username make sure to see it's present on answer number one do not copy from lab instruction which you used to log in copy from the task one so now it will execute some task and let's see we get 100 out of 100 or not in using this See this error no not no worry just wait it will create because apis need time to enable
as you can see the function is being deployed now Now let's move towards the lab instruction and let's check the score. As you can see we haven't got the score on the last task. That means we need to do it manually. So need not to worry I will provide a solution for that also. So let's click on alerting search alerting. Click on the monitoring one. Now basically we have to create the alerting policy, click on create policy. Select a metric, select cloud function and then function and then active instances. See in your case if it shows active enabled, make sure to click it to disable. You will be able to find it in case you are unable to find the function. So now click on apply. Now here you have to click on next then type 4000. Click on next for notification channel select it. Now you have to enter the name. So for name move to the lab instruction. Make sure there is no extra space. now paste it now you have to click on next and create policy so once it's done you will be done with the lab so guys finally it's done let's see it I check my progress so as you can see we have got the score now just refresh the browser in case you are unable to see so as you can see